Hello, my name's Andy, and this is Andy's Wood Journeys, and today I am flying like a black eagle for Melbourne Revealed. Wherever you go, the Hagoon. Sometimes I've got nothing to say. Look, I'll be honest with you, this isn't really my thing, but uh, if it is your thing, you'll probably have a whale of a time here. Hello folks, it's me Andy and this is Andy's World Journeys and we are doing a bit of Melbourne Revealed. Today we're in the part of Melbourne known as Docklands. Why are we here? We are here to visit something called Art Vogue. What is Art Vogue? I'm not 100% sure. I hadn't heard of it until recently, but it has been around for a while. They describe themselves as an immersive art experience. So it sounds like it could be something a bit different for us. So let's go and see if we can find this place because it's in here somewhere. It's called The District. And good news is it's really easy to get to as well from the center of town by tram. You're talking about, I don't know, from the center of town, you're talking about 20 minutes maybe by tram. Uh, and that's only because trams are pretty slow. And to let you know, just over here, you'll see where you get off. Uh, right here we have the uh, the Docklands uh, tram stop here and uh, you can catch the 35, the 70 or the 86 for free from uh, the centre of town out here to Docklands to access where we're going today. So anyway, here we are, see Art Vogue on the first floor, folks. Mm, things are escalating quickly here. <laughs> Shut up. The Docklands part of Melbourne was redeveloped a few, a couple of decades ago now. Uh, for a long time there was pretty much not much here at all. Uh, and now there are lots of uh, new sort of shopping strips and places like this. Uh, which, you know, there are shops. Well, it's quite quiet today. Um, but it is Friday before a long weekend. People may have already cleared out of town. Also in Docklands, they built the new, Mar what they call Marvel Stadium these days. Uh, it's been called a few things over the years, depending on uh, the sponsor. And um, yeah, there's a beautiful waterfront area too. So we should do a, a Docklands vlog one day, perhaps. Um, and also the giant Melbourne, was it called the Melbourne Eye? I don't know. Uh, it's this huge Ferris wheel that takes, I don't know, a long time to go all the way around. Uh, trying to emulate the London Eye, uh, but during COVID, it went bust. The Friends Experience. There's something called the Friends Experience, the one in Melbourne. Crikey. See it on Binge or literally any streaming service, anywhere. Where is this Art Vaux place? Tell me folks, does this remind you of Friends? I don't know. Where are you going bro? Art Vaux bro. Over there we've got Glow Golf. Miniature Golf, which glows I guess. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Here we go, Art Vogue. I think it might be more of a kid's thing, but um, we'll see. Ticket bought, $30 for an adult, child 20. I'm just making some bad jokes. Here we are. Uh, are you on your own today? Yes. Awesome, so it's pretty straightforward. The target is Dan and Cynthia. Whoever is posing for the photograph is against the paintings. There are little pictures on the stickers for some posing advice. Okay, so it's essentially for taking photos? Yeah. Ah, okay. So basically here we are in Art Road and um, lots of different environments here for you to take take your photos in. So basically there's a lot of art here and you just pose with it I guess. Here 
camp behind me, we have a rare fountain that you may not have seen before. Does it open? Is there something special on the other side? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. I think it's just a painting. I mean, is this your kind of thing? Do you like to look for um, interesting environments to take uh, selfies from, to fill your socials? See, I know all these words, socials, I know. Now, I'm an angel, folks. Yes, I finally got my wings. I know you always thought I was an angel. Here's the proof for you. So Andrew, what are you doing for your latest vlog? Well, I'm just swatting around this place called Art Vogue. Come on, I gotta work with what I got. So far, I've gotta say, this has been an interesting experience, but one that's hard to create interesting content about. But, at least you can see what it's like in here, and um, I don't know if this is something that I would do if I was coming from overseas and visiting Melbourne, uh, but, um, Maybe for you Melbourneites watching this video, uh, this appeals to you or your children, maybe. I mean, it's an interesting mix of art, um, none of which is famous or known, I have to say. Um, but there's different environments. Um, so far, it's all been a little bit enchanted, a little bit. Uh, uh, fantasy if you will uh, but around there I thought I saw some planets on the walls so uh, we'll go and see what that's like after I finish uh, messing about in boats that looks intriguing so this is a little bit more spacey isn't it oh look we got some Iron Man over there Marvel inspired they say Time and tide waits for no man. But that's a bit sexist these days. Yes, it's a hoverboard, but it seems to be more advanced than the Back to the Future ones, because it's in space. Seriously. Over here, we have the moon, which apparently has left its orbit and come very low, so that it's at the same level as the balloons. Guardians of the Galaxy there for some iterations of Iron Man. None of them really look like Robert Downey Jr. No look, Chris Pratt. Well, it's a very quiet Friday afternoon here, but um, I guess it's a school day, so we're not seeing a lot of kids around. But there certainly are some adults around who are taking the opportunity to pose. Hey everyone, look. They put a man on the moon. Or at least leaning on it. The more I go in this direction, the colder it gets. It's getting colder and colder. Why? Uh -huh. So, hey, how you doing? 
Hello? You okay? You're not saying anything to me. She's obviously got some issues. I think she should let them go. Don't stress, once you get out of this frozen world, things heat up straight away. They really thaw out. Get it? I know it's here somewhere. <sighs> Hammer time. This is a replica, well it's a painting, yeah, of the, uh, the AFL, the Australian Football League's Premiership Cup for 2024. Won by yet to be decided, because the season started last night. Go dogs. The posing continues. Oh, it's getting colder again. Look, I'll be honest with you, this isn't really my thing, but uh, if it is your thing, you'll probably have a whale of a time here. I know, shut up Andy. Pretty cool, isn't it? It's an interesting idea. I wonder how profitable it is. Maybe on the weekends it gets super packed. Who knows? Look folks, you can get cute with some giant koalas. These koalas, uh, they're bigger than the, the gorillas over there, so it may not be to scale. Nothing makes sense. No, nothing makes sense anymore. Sometimes I got nothing to say. They say all good things must come to an end, and so must this. Why the guy's on his side, I don't know. Well look, there's a, there's a vault of gold. Oh good, so these are some examples of, of uh, photos people have taken. Okay, so you get the idea about what they're going for. I mean, it would really help if you had a, um, a second person. Probably shouldn't have come on my own. But you know, I only know that now. Folks, before we wrap up, here we are. Look, this is the, uh, the giant Ferris wheel that still exists, but does not move. A few eating options like Carl's Jr. and Spud Bar for you. 
this way to O'Brien Ice House. I wonder what that is. Yeah, so if it's your thing, then you probably you could spend an hour plus in there. Uh, I think I spent about half an hour walking through there, um, which was enough for me. There she is, stationary. The world waiting for them to decide what the heck they're going to do with her. Yeah, this area here, it's not really buzzing per se. It's quite quiet. But I've got a feeling maybe a bit of nightlife happens around here too. Um, as for the, uh, it's actually called the Melbourne Star, not the Melbourne Eye. There you go. Just sitting around doing nothing. And bizarrely, Melbourne Star Observation Wheel entry to suppose open September to April daily, flights between 11 a.m. and 9.30 p.m., blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it hasn't been in operation for like three years, maybe more. They still keep the sign up. But what are they going to do? I mean, to take it down would probably cost more than it's worth. Well, folks, there you go, Artfo for you. Is it your kind of thing? Perhaps not my kind of thing, but uh, it was interesting. And yeah, it was pretty, um, yeah, it was nice. No, no, I liked it. And the art was certainly um, colorful, expressive. Yeah, it was good art. Yeah, I don't know what else I can tell you about it, but uh, there you go. There'll be a little bit more Melbourne Reveal coming along your way uh, very soon. Uh, thank you very much for tuning into this video. And of course, please don't forget to click like, comment and subscribe. Helps the channel to grow and um, encourages me to say this every flipping video. Or wherever you are in the world, take care and may the journey never end.